Hello and welcome back to KC Grandpa Tech, where the, your geeky grandpa talks tech, stuff, and more. Hey, exciting news! Tomorrow night, May 26th, we're going to have a super moon, also known as a blood moon. And on top of that, we're going to have a lunar eclipse. Uh, not only that, there's a large meteor that's going to be passing by. Uh, some people will be able to catch it. Uh, but I have some bad news for some of you about that. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you like content like this, um, hit the little bell so you'll know when I'm on. So let's talk about this supermoon tomorrow night. Well, what is a supermoon? Let's first thing, let's talk about that. And that, basically, is when the moon is not in a linear orbit. That means that it comes further away sometimes, and sometimes it's closer. Well, it's going to be one of the closest times it's ever been. So that is what is known as a supermoon. And what happens is, due to the extra light from the sun and the closeness, the, the refraction off the Earth's atmosphere causes only the red to get through. So the moon appears red, or blood moon. On top of that, the moon will be um, in a position that the, the Earth will go in front of the moon and have the sun behind it, there ca causing a lunar eclipse. And of course, a lot of people will be looking and observing that tomorrow night. So let's go into some more things about that real quick. So our moon has multiple purposes. And of course, we get treated with these stellar events from time to time. But most of you know what one of the most important things that occurs with the moon and that it controls the tides. The moon moving further away, changing position, helps move tides, moves the circulation in the ocean and helps things go. But can you guess what one of the most important things that the moon does for us that most people aren't aware of. I can tell you what that is. Have you guessed it yet? That's right. Because of the magnetic forces by the moon's gravity, asteroids, large objects passing by the Earth, are pulled towards the moon and away from the Earth therefore helping to inhibit a large collision with the Earth. Of course, some do to get through, but the moon's gravitational force also helps to break up some of these, causing them to split apart and easily burn up in the atmosphere. Now, let's go into some more of the things that are happening. Um, again, of course, what the blood moon is, is the refraction off the Earth's atmosphere only allows red to get through and of course the moon appears red. Now, I told you I'm going to talk to you about some bad news and the bad news is that unfortunately tomorrow night's event will not be uh, will not be seen by everybody. Unfortunately only the people on most some people on the west coast Australia and West Asia will be actually able to see it. Us here in New Jersey on the East Coast will not be able to see this, but there's good news. And I'm gonna leave the link for you. Uh, a live feed from the Griffin Observatory will be available for those of you who wanna watch it um, on the web. That's exciting news. That's exciting news. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, it's good news. Um, I love a stellar events, you know, between watching the stars and uh, being a Star Wars fan, of course. I um, love to look at these events because they have more meaning sometimes than even um, uh, the event. I mean, for history's sake. I mean, when the eclipses used to occur, some cultures used to sacrifice people because they thought that if they didn't, the the moon, the sun wouldn't come back, or the moon, the crops would be destroyed. There's, a, there's been a lot of religious connection to this. 
um, in within the Christian and Judeo Christian thing, blood moons signify a major change in the spiritual atmosphere. So, at any rate, I hope this has been helpful for you. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel again. And if you have any comments about this, you've watched the moon, you have pictures, you've been watching it over the years, put it in the comments section. And don't forget to hit the little bell. I'll be back with another video soon. This is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech out.